how many times have you gone out to do basic routine maintenance by checking your spark plugs? You go to pull the plug wire off of the plug and lo and behold, that little crimped connection inside decides to marry itself to the plug and separate from the wire. Don't fret, there is a fix for that. <laughs> All right, guys, well, you can see exactly what happened here. I went to go pull my spark plug wire off of the plug, and of course, the crimped connection decided to marry the plug rather than the wire. Now, I was being very careful. I had already checked a couple of other ones with no problems, and this one, of course, decided to give me a problem. So what do we do at this point? Do we buy a whole new set of wires? That can sometimes be very expensive, somewhere in the range of $40 to $90, depending on what brand you buy. But I thought, you know what, why don't we just try to fix it. So that's what we're gonna do today. When you look at this, it seems pretty basic. You of course have the wire and you have the crimped piece of metal that connects the spark plug to the wire. Now what exactly happens here? If I go ahead and pull this metal piece off of the plug, we can now see that all that happens is simply the wire rips out of the connection. So in theory, all we'd have to do is open this connection and then recrimp it. Let's try it. All right, so I have two pairs of needle nose inside of that crimped connection. I'm gonna try to just spread it apart, which is very easy to do. Now, if I just simply use a pick I should be able to get this old wire out of there and that was easy too. All we have to do to reestablish the connection is to simply fold over this metal, reapply this fitting, and then recrimp it the best we can. I almost forgot, we still have to reapply this boot. So I'm going to put the boot on the wire first, so then when I'm done reestablishing the connection, I can pull the boot back to where it needs to be. In order to do that, we need some lubrication, so I'm gonna apply some grease to the inside of this boot. Now that we have some grease on the inside of this boot, this is super lube grease, by the way, which is dielectric. We're gonna go ahead and slide it over our wire, twisting at the same time. It is somewhat of a tight fit. All right, now that the boot is on there all the way, I can wipe off some of this grease. Now that most of the grease is wiped away, we can simply fold over the wire and do our best to reapply this fitting. Something like that. Now you can see the metal portion of the spark plug wire is connecting with this fitting, which in turn will connect with the spark plug itself. I'm basically going to recrimp it by using this small portion of these pliers, just putting it inside of there and squeezing as hard as I can. And here you can see the connection has been made. You can see it's very tight and it's not coming off. Now I can simply slide the boot back over the connection. Don't slide it on too far because we still need to test fit the spark plug location. And then you can kind of slide the boot down just enough to where you can see where it used to sit on the actual spark plug itself. And this seems about perfect. And there we have it. This plug wire is essentially fixed. Let's throw it back on the truck and see if it all works. The first thing we need to do, of course, is reinstall our spark plug. Now that the spark plug is in, I'm gonna go ahead and reapply this heat shield, and now I'm going to reinstall the spark plug wire. The first connection I'm gonna make is to the coil itself. There you go. Just push it on until you hear that satisfying click. And this last connection we're gonna make is on the spark plug itself, where we're going to connect just like normal. Remember to kind of rock it back and forth to make sure you're getting it in place. And there you go, as soon as you hear that click, you know you've clicked in. Go ahead and give it another push or two just to be sure, but we are in. All right guys, well here is the moment of truth. We're gonna go ahead and start this truck and see if she runs. Keys in, here we go. Purrs like a kitten, let's check it out. All right, motor's running great, nice and smooth, just like she always does, and I suspect no problems whatsoever. All right, guys, well, as you've probably figured out, this is not a permanent fix. This is more like a, oh crap, I just broke my spark plug wire and I do not feel like spending $100 on a whole new set. So I'll just go ahead and fix this one the best I can and see how long I can get by. As long as you know that and understand that this could fail at any point, then you should be okay. Not very difficult to do, a very basic setup and design, and I'm glad for that. I was able to fix this in less than five minutes. Everything is running perfectly fine at this point, and if I wasn't already planning on replacing my plug wires and plugs, I probably would leave it. 
So there you go. It is possible to fix your broken spark plug wire. I just did it and my truck is running beautifully. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video at least a little bit, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one.